Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Ibuka Suliche. Super, super excited to be here, guys. Because today I will be reacting to something that is synonymous with both Islam and Christianity. We're talking about the last days, signs of the last days, things that will happen in the last days. Because we say we are in the end time, we're in the last days. Yeah, and it's been an amazing journey um, with you guys over 4,000 subscribers in just a few weeks. And it's been amazing. I really, really, really want to say a big thank you to you guys. Um, I've been on this journey of looking at life through Islam, uh, understanding Islam better, and I've been reacting to videos that have been recommended by you guys, my, my subscribers, my friends. Uh, it's been amazing, brothers and sisters. It's been really, really amazing. I'm coming to understand what Islam is about. I you know, you know sometimes I might kind of disagree, you know, like say, I could come sometimes i could disagree about something based on my idea of my religion or what i know you know not um disputing it but trying to reach an agreement probably something like conflict you know i'm not yet really 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 convinced about what I, when i that happens i really want you guys to like give me facts back in the statements and the rest of that if it doesn't come with facts and stuff because i like i'm trying to be factual here and uh, something to convince me to see better or understand better yes that's why i am um, here guys i'm um, today we're reacting to the science of the last days minor science um i did myself a savant guys let's get right into this Prophet Muhammad said that would happen before the end of time and of course the first thing the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the first thing that he said would be the first of the signs of the last day is his death and the last day is soon upon us and that's what the Prophet said then 1400 years ago how close must it be now let's look at some of the things the Prophet Muhammad may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him said in various narrations. First of all, the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that amongst the signs of the last day is that you would see the barefooted Bedouins compete with each other in building tall buildings. This is remarkable because I invite anybody to look and go and visit Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain. These are places where 60 years ago I remember when I was in Kenya and they were complaining how there was no more money coming from Saudi Arabia after 9-11 and so on and so forth. And they were saying, well, you know, 60 years ago, we used to send money to Saudi Arabia to help the orphans and the madrasas there. Now you will find the people who only 60 years ago were barefooted Bedouins competing with each other in who can build the tallest building in the world. In fact, it said there's going to be six of the tallest buildings in the world in Dubai in the years to come. This is something the Prophet Muhammad was predicting 1,400 years ago. It is truly a sign of the last days. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, also mentioned that the mosques would become like palaces. And this is the case, even though the Prophet Wasallam ordered simplicity in the houses of Allah, the fact is that they have become more and more fantastic and more and more money is being spent on these mosques with domes and floors and golden domes and floors and everything to match with so much lavish chandeliers and carpets like palaces. As the Prophet Wasallam said would happen. Also, the Prophet mentioned that trustworthiness would disappear so much so that a person would be able to say, I know a trustworthy person in such and such town. I ask you yourself if maybe that is not the case today. Also, the Prophet mentioned that there will be an increase in killing. The Prophet called it Harj to the extent that the one who is being killed and the one who is killing, they don't even know. The one who is being killed doesn't know why he's being killed. The one who is killing doesn't know why he is doing the killing. I think this is the s describing the condition of some cities today where kids are shooting people. The person has no idea why he was shot. In fact, people are being shot merely just 
to prove themselves or for any type of madness that you can imagine. Not even to mention the massacres of so many people that is taking place due to terrorism, whether it is the terrorism of countries or the terrorism of organizations or individuals. We shouldn't really make a difference. It's all terror. When women and children and innocents get killed, it's terror by the hands of whoever it is. People do not know why they're killing or why they're being killed. To such an extent that it is unimaginable, just as the Prophet Muhammad predicted 1,400 years ago. Also, the Prophet mentioned that there would be the increase in the use of riba, which means usury, interest, credit cards, mortgages, things like that. In fact, the, to the extent that no one would be able to escape the dust of it, everybody will be affected by it. And this is without doubt the truth of the world economy today. The whole world economy is affected and controlled by banks and the use of interest money. Even though in Islam it is totally prohibited, even though in Christianity, up until the 16th, 17th century, riba was forbidden in Christendom as well. But yet today, it is something that controls the world economy to the extent that no one can escape it, just as the Prophet Muhammad predicted 1,400 years ago. The Prophet also said that there will be an increase in literacy in fact, so many people will be able to read and write, but actually knowledge will decrease. Isn't that a type of paradox? More people will read, and what do we end up reading? Most of us, we read rubbish. We read rubbish stuff. But we can read, but knowledge, especially knowledge of the religion, despite the fact that more people can read, ignorance has begun. It's amazing, like most of the things he's saying here, it's actually happening. Yeah, killing in terms of buildings in Saudi, Bohemia, and the rest of that, Judan, and the rest of big, mighty, mighty buildings, you know. And in fact, um, the riba lending of money, increasing the trace, like most people, most back in the days, even in Africa, it's hardly you see more their child being educated but now almost every single person is going to school but then the truth is you could see some people and their arguments or what the kind of things they post online and you just can't read meaning or you can't read sense into it it's just like these people are ignorant or they've been living under the rock or you know you just wonder are these people even human do they even think at all and it's crazy and these people are people who are educated who go to school even to the university or even to even higher um Education, to obtain higher education, you see, when they reason, when they talk about religion, especially, it's just sad and just like, what's, what have been, what's happened to this person? Is this person thinking, all right, you know? And it's just, it's just amazing, like, kind of things that have been happening. Uh, loan and interest, you know, even the world economy, Africa, especially, suffering from the interest and the rest of that. In the US, um, You'd see something like the kind of credit cards and people going to debt and, you know, loan mortgage and mortgage and the rest of that. It's just, it's just crazy, crazy. Like the world is going crazy, you know, and you could see terrorism here in Africa. You talk about this in Somalia, you talk about in Nigeria, Boko Haram, you talk about, um, in U.S., you can see every time school shooting and stuff like that. It just keeps happening. Like the world is like a madhouse right now. And this has been said already by Prophet Muhammad in the Quran. And it's just amazing. Just like even in the Bible, it was said in the last days, but it's times to come. Like people shall, so we can't find trustworthy people. People will sell you out. People will kill, you know. Like you'd hardly find it's like everything we just said, they wrote in the Bible and here, and it's amazing. Like this had been said years, years, years ago. All right, let's continue. Prevalent. And this is what the Prophet said that religious knowledge would decrease, not by the books disappearing, not by, you know, knowledge being taken from the minds of the people. No, the knowledge in the sense of the books will be there but the scholars, so that only ignorant people will remain. And people will ask them for religious verdicts, and they will give it, even though they are ignorant, and they will misguide themselves and misguide others. Anyone acquainted with the Muslim world today will be familiar with this. And the Prophet mentioned, though, the speakers will be many and the scholars will be few. And this is what we can find, exactly. There are many speakers, many thinkers, many intellectuals, 
Many people, alhamdulillah, giving da'wah, maybe not enough people, but the scholars, they are so few. And this is a type of sign of the last day that the scholars will be taken away. And this is exactly what we find happening. Also, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that there will be such an increase in musical instruments and Muslims will make it lawful even though it is forbidden. The use of musical instruments, it has been forbidden by the Prophet. Some Muslims will make it lawful. And there are many people who are saying it's allowed, even though it is very clearly mentioned in Sahil Bukhari, the most authentic collection of hadith. And this is mentioned here. This hadith where the Prophet predicted that the people will make it lawful even though the Prophet made it unlawful and it has come true. Just as the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Also, he mentioned there will be an increase in sexual promiscuity. Even though Islam is a religion that teaches chastity, that a man and a woman should confine themselves to marriage, the Prophet said there will be an increase in sexual promiscuity. And I don't think anyone can deny that that is the state of the world today with highly sexualized images, and even traditional societies that normally had a good traditional moral values. For example, like India, even in India, for example, promiscuity is becoming more and more common, hardly than it ever was before. Even in Muslim countries where the whole idea of sexual promiscuity is so against the teachings of Islam, it is unfortunately becoming more and more common. And the Prophet Muhammad said that because of this, diseases would appear that people had never heard of before. Isn't that the case? AIDS, for example, diseases that people had never heard of before will arise due to sexual promiscuity. And this has taken place just as the Prophet Muhammad predicted Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He mentioned that women will be naked although they are dressed. The dress of some women today, which in all but means is nakedness. With the clothes that are so tight, they describe every shape of the body which this technology did not exist to make those type of clothes in the time of the Prophet. Yet the Prophet Muhammad is describing how this nakedness amongst the women will become prevalent. And also the Prophet mentioned that there will be shouting in the mosques, something that is prohibited in Islam. And it's something that I have witnessed myself. And also the Prophet said the worst and the most ignorant people will become the leaders. And really, I have to say, if we look at some of the world leaders today, even of some of the superpowers, it seems as if what the Prophet said about the worst and most ignorant people becoming leaders seems to have taken place, exactly as the Prophet Muhammad said. Also, he mentioned that a man will obey his wife and disobey his mother, something really contrary to the teachings of Islam. He will rather listen to his friends than listen to his father. And this is something that we have find happening in the Muslim world, even though this is so against the teachings of Islam. Men will wear gold and silk and they will make it lawful, even though the Prophet has made it unlawful. People will abandon the religion of Islam for a small worldly gain. And keeping onto the religion will be whole, like holding two hot coals. I am mentioning all of these things and there are many, many more things that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned. But these are some of the small signs concerning the events that will take place before the last day. And as we can see, these things that I have gone through almost without exception, they have come true in a way that is so, so clear and so, so obvious and so, so apparent. Amazing. Like this has been predicted long before now. Talking about promiscuity, heightened sexual, um, increase in sexual activities. You could see in every part of the world, it's like everything's been sexualized. You talk about even in cartoons, even adverts, food, everything. They just try to sexualize it. You know, even in terms of the names of the food of it. Like they try as much as possible to sexualize everything. You know, they hide an increase in pornography content. It's just crazy, you know. And I didn't, I never knew use of musical instruments and not allowed in Islam. I'm just finding that out now, and I'm wild, you know. I'm really wild. And wearing gold and silk is not acceptable. And it's just, I'm 
and it's happening in most everything that is happening. You know, he talked about ignorant people leading, you know, and friendship leading, something like that. You talk, and even the superpowers, I could get an idea who it's referring to one of the number of top countries in the world. We you know they had a recent president and he was more like a baby uh, in, in, the, in the house. You know, it's amazing this kind of things we've predicted before now. And these are things that are happening. It's happening people children and people they rather listen to friends and listen to your father and it's, it's sad and forgetting the fact that the parent or the dad has lived before them have seen life before them they might think because of the advancement in technology but there's always foundation there are things about life that's not about technology and advancement in technology you know it's just crazy the world is turning to a madhouse like things are going upside down and it's going at a fast pace and it's just signaling the end of time, signaling the end of the world and it's signaling the end of end time and the coming of the Jahal or uh, the Antichrist. Yeah, and it's just it's just it's just crazy and the fact that we don't read the signs is just really, really sad, you know? Really, really sad. Guys, and I think we should it's time to come to God. It's time to start working in His way, in His in the right path. Because a lot of things is going so wrong, so so wrong, in the society, and we feel like it's normal. It's not normal, because this thing has been predicted. These are signs, and it's there in the books for us to read and to understand and to know these things. But we don't read. That's why I would really, really love to read the Quran. I've been searching for that with the one with um, an English translation, so I would understand that read. You know, because I know this since I read in the Bible as a Christian, I've read some of them, or most of them. Yeah, guys. So I want to say a big thank you to every single person who has been subscribing, liking, sharing, recommending videos, suggestions to make this channel better. And if you feel there's some things I need to do or improve on, please kindly drop in the comment section. I would definitely or you email me on that on um, on my email, and I'll definitely respond to that. Guys, so come away next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop your suggestions, drop your opinions, drop my videos, and I'll definitely do just that. So come away next time.